Good afternoon. Yes, very good afternoon to you. What's your name? My name is Donna Lisa Thampan, but you may call me Donna. Okay, Donna. Where do you come from? I come from Kodamangalam. It's a small place, uh, about 30 kilometers from Cochin, a city in Kerala. Thank you. And what do you do? Well, right now I'm a part-time web designer. Uh, I wish to uh, continue my studies in a different realm after this. Uh, let's talk about reading. Oh. Um, do you like reading books? Yes, I love reading books. In fact, I'm pretty passionate about that. And I have a huge collection and also a library membership to go with it. Thank you. How often do you read? Uh, well, uh, I would say considering my work right now, I read less compared to what I used to do before. But I always find time, especially when I am uh, even waiting at bus stops or waiting for someone to come and meet me, I utilize all the time for reading. Thank you. Do you have many books at home? Yes, I do have many books at home. In fact, I have many books which I've got hand, handed me by my aunt. She's, a, she's an avid reader. Okay. Uh, do people in your country like to read? Yes, they love to read. But uh, I don't know how passionate they are. But I've seen many people who uh, don't have access to libraries but they are very good at uh, reading books online. Uh -huh. What kind of people like reading and what kind of people don't like reading very much? Well, uh, I couldn't classify someone, but mostly I think it's based on the interest because everyone reads. Some read newspapers, but that's also reading. It's uh, not, uh, you know, you're, uh, uh, it's considered a hobby or any particular passion. Even people read scientific journals. Those who are into research, they also read. So reading is uh, for everyone, but yes, as a hobby, it's for some particular people who are passionate about it. All right, Donna, uh, do children read books? Yes, they do read books and especially story books. And there are certain schools in my hometown which encourage reading. So I think children read a lot. What are the benefits of reading? Well, uh, I think first of all, it improves your knowledge. Also, I think uh, maybe it improves your vocabulary. It, uh, vocabulary is naturally imbibed when you start reading. Thank you. Now, let's talk about handwriting. Mm -hmm. uh, do you usually handwrite? Yes, I love that. In fact, I don't encourage emails. I love handwritten letters. Where are the keyboards usually used? Keyboards? Oh, with the computers, with the laptops. And also uh, in certain, uh, you know, like uh, those laptops where you've used for scientific research, all those places keyboards are used. Is there any difference between mobile phones and computer keyboards? Well, uh, I would say the alignment, not just the alignment, I would say the size. The size of the keyboard is different. So some, uh, for some, you know, like elderly people, it'll be difficult to find out those words rather than using a keyboard. Talking about the robots, are you interested in robots and why? Oh, that is my favorite area because I am doing presently, I, I've done my thesis on uh, machine learning and yes, that is one area where machine learning specializes. So I'm interested and I'm interested at the application that a robot can bring. Interesting. Do you like robots to work at home? Oh, that is a wonderful idea. I think, uh, you know, you can just uh, give your, uh, any woman can give their mundane chores to the robot and utilize their skill. Actually, there are many skilled and qualified women who can contribute so much to society, but then their time is consumed by their household activities. Right. Do you want to take a car? Which robot is the driver? Oh, I don't think that will be a safe idea for me as, as in, uh, because I enjoy driving myself, so I don't think I would give that aspect to a machine that being con in control of my activity, but I would like to control a, a robot. Okay, so uh, Donna, what's your opinion like? Will robots replace human beings in the workplace completely? No, I don't think so. 
they can to a great proportion help a human in a workplace but i don't think they're going to replace because the kind of understanding and the kind of innovation and creativity that a human being can bring in a robot can never bring in I vividly remember one particular time when I had to search for information. It was from the internet. Internet is a huge source of information. And uh, one thing that I searched was how to make a kite. It was for my nephew. And I searched for it on the, uh, and I got a video on YouTube. It was very helpful. And the person who was presenting it was very clear with the steps as how to follow, what to follow and what are the necessary items we need and there were subtitles also so that was very useful and we actually followed the instructions we made the kite and along with my nephew it was great i could say it was great family time not just that we made a very good kite also i learned that there was a wonderful teacher in me well uh, because we made this just because we got a sudden announcement that there will be a wonderful breeze at the beach and we just drove down to the beach we flew our kite and it was the most exhilarating experience with my nephew so far i could say well everyone was flying a kite there and all those kites were bought but we had one which we had made it was a handmade one and we were really proud of what we did and i could say that uh, you know youtube gave me that uh, clarity of information so it was uh, i could see pictures and there were specific guidelines so that was the time when i could say that i got very specific information and useful information which i really needed so in that way i can say that this uh, you know this uh, the whole revolution with internet and providing information is really helpful for people and we should all utilize it in whatever way we can thank you How long does it take to search information? Well, uh, that depends on your broadband connectivity sometimes. Also, sometimes to get a particular information which you are actually searching for depends on how clear you are about the topic. Because uh, when you have a vague idea of the topic, you cannot give specific keywords and then it takes time. So, do people these days rely on books or on internet to find information? convenience is i would say guaranteed for internet but i don't think books are going to run out and uh, they are not going to lose their importance but referring too many books at the time when you know when the need is urgent i think maybe people might depend on so you think that online information is reliable not always not always we have to uh, definitely verify the online information based on the source uh, sometimes uh, there can be uh you know uh, actually personal information which might not be true also even when you're doing a research there uh, some things uh, some information might come up which has actually not been verified okay uh, so dona do you think that there is too much information online these days yes there is information about anything and everything but i don't think that it is too much it's just that uh, you have access to all this information earlier uh, when we had just newspapers or uh, it was broadcast on tv it was a particular time duration it was restricted your information was restricted to a particular time duration but now because it's available 24 hours there's no difference between night and day i think uh, you have greater time to access rather than the volume of information what are some other ways of searching information well uh, one would be that you can ask someone you can just ask a person some expert in the field if it's uh, related to your academic purposes or even uh, you know when you're traveling on a road and you don't have the uh, internet access you can ask a person for guiding you right uh, what kind of information do people trust more well i think the trust factor would be for uh, if i'm saying uh, research it would be definitely for the books and if i'm saying for uh, you know uh, online information it will be based on whether the site is verified or not 
the site is verified by another uh, controlling authority. In those cases, yes, people would trust. Exactly. What type of information will historians rely on for interpreting the 21st century? Well, I think that will be uh, those manuscripts which have been written earlier by people living in that era. And also uh, some, you know, you uh, dig up something, but it has to be scientifically verified that it relates to that particular era. You know, now there are many, many uh, technological advancements which can actually find out uh, the time uh, of uh, occurrence of certain events or you, know, you can actually calculate back time. Thank you. Now let's talk about decision making, right? Is it important to ask for help when you are making decisions? Yes, it is. It is vital because uh, sometimes uh, even when you have a clarity of thought, another person's interpretation can make you think about why you actually want that. So it is, it is really very important to ask someone when uh, you want to make a decision. Right. What are some important decisions teenagers might have to take? Mostly for teenagers, it will be as to how they want to go forward in their career and what academic courses they should opt for in order to reach the position they want, they desire for. Also, uh, in my country, I think many people rely on their parents to make their choices for life partner because they believe that parents have a better exposure on human relationships and how to handle them so that they can... Do you believe in that? Yes, I do believe in that. I believe that parents actually know you because they're spending some time with you. So, in fact, more time with you than your friends or even your own judgment can go wrong at times, but uh, I'm not saying that uh, your parents' decisions are foolproof, but yes, they know you so they can uh, talk in your best interests. Okay. In your opinion, should decisions be taken quickly or with time? There are certain decisions which need to be taken quickly, as in, uh, I can say when it comes to doing some medical test or something where uh, time delay can cause critical issues in those cases or else you no know, like simple cases like when you're driving you see uh, you see a bump on the road and you break that's a sudden decision but there are certain decisions which you need to take over you need to take your own time to make those decisions right what are some important decisions that national leaders would have to take well i think uh, their job is very important and the decisions that they make a greater impact on the entire country so for them it will be as to how they are going to envision their country in a few years it's not uh, sometimes decisions are uh, immediate like uh, they have to like when uh, some disaster strikes like flood or drought or something that happens immediate action has to be taken but mostly their decisions are for the future so they need to really take expert advice and make their decisions Formulate them with time. Thank you so much, Donna. Yes. That's the end of the speaking session. Thank you.